Bladder cancer is one, what we call a forgotten or orphan cancer. One of the main issues with bladder cancer research is that it's very poorly funded and supported by funding agencies. And so our aim is to really highlight the importance of this disease, which is really a very deadly disease in certain circumstances. The QVCI is an inclusive program encompassing early stage disease all the way through to advanced, looking at translational research, clinical trial activity, and advocacy for patients. The QBCI is aimed at supporting patients through their journey with bladder cancer, whether it be low grade or high grade, all the way through to advanced disease, with education support, clinical trial activity, and cutting edge technologies. We're also training the next generation of clinician scientists through our work with junior doctors who are aiming to work in the field of bladder cancer and urology. One of the challenges in bladder cancer is that there are a lack of good biomarkers to indicate response or resistance to treatments. Our program aims to use precision medicine, including patient-derived samples, next-generation sequencing, and cutting-edge in vitro organoid culture to analyze individual patients to improve therapeutic outcomes in specific patients. At QBCI, we use two principal technologies to study each individual patient's cancer. We collect their tumour from the operating room and our record for getting that to the laboratory at the moment stands at 11 minutes. And then we either dissociate it, so pull the tumour apart and collect the tumour cells and make what we call organoids or mini tumours. Or alternatively, we keep the tumour intact and slice that tumour into thin slices. And we use both of those sorts of samples to then test which drugs might kill those tumour cells or at least slow them down. The our goal here is to predict which therapies might be the best ones for that individual person. The QBCI is fortunate to be based in the Translational Research Institute, which enables us to work with a number of partners, universities, medical research institutes, the health members of the health system, and philanthropy and industry that are also located in the building. This provides a terrific opportunity to build new collaborations and apply novel technologies to solving the riddle of bladder cancer. I've been involved in the program for some time now, looking at two particular areas. The first is clinical trials, where we try to uh, encourage patients to be involved in the testing of new uh, systemic therapies, often in conjunction with surgery and major therapy, to see if we can improve patient survival and outcome. I'm also the director of the Australian Translation Genomics Centre. And through that centre, we are routinely uh, examining the tissue of patients when we look at the patient's tumour genome or the mutations that we see within the patient's tumour, we can sometimes identify targets for which drugs are being developed against. With the QBCI, one of the great achievements of it so far has been really increasing awareness of bladder cancer within our community and the linkages we have with other centres around the country. And what that allows us to do is to develop completely novel clinical trials based on good translational research, based on a good understanding of the biology of the tumour that may have real impacts for patient care in the future. Urology department at Princess Alexandra Hospital is a tertiary urology department within the state of Queensland. We're a reference hospital for tertiary urology, such as bladder cancer, complex renal cancer, testicular cancer, and we also run a, an extensive robotics program in prostate cancer. The QBCI is a major initiative at our hospital. It's enabled our patients to access trials that were not previously available and there's no doubt that with the data that we've collected and the trial access we've been able to change patients management and improve their overall survival and quality of life. We are a large department with nine visiting specialists and uh, we're an accredited training program with uh, several overseas fellows as well. My involvement with the Queensland Bladder Cancer Initiative is a combined role. Uh, first of all, as a clinician in training at the Princess Alexandra Hospital, and secondly, as a scientist at the Translational Research Institute. The concept of a, of a clinician scientist is quite uh, common amongst internal medical specialties. However, the concept of a surgeon scientist is something that's relatively rare. Uh, and with the field going more and more into precision medicine, there's a more of a demand more than ever for surgeon scientists going into the future. We've been able to accrue a large biobank of prostate and bladder cancer patients. These biobanks are invaluable as they uh, provide foundation to characterise our bladder cancers and prostate cancers. They also provide the foundation of development of preclinical models. 
it's now well appreciated that no two cancers are alike and cancers vary from individual to individual. And as we strive and make modern advances in precision medicine, we hope that the research conducted here at the Queensland Bladder Cancer Initiative aims to shed light on these tumours and help clinicians in personalising and tailoring optimal treatment options for patients affected with bladder cancer. I hope that QBCI will continue to build on the research program to develop new collaborations both locally and all across the world because we really need to work together to make a real difference in bladder cancer treatment. My hope for the QBCI is that we'll continue to go from strength to strength. We'll encourage the next generation of clinician scientists to be involved in basic translational and clinical research, that we can improve outcomes in individual patients with the most effective therapeutics at the right stage for each patient.